today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Okay. What the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello, Ray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy over Ray Hills, and welcome to another recap on this beautiful Friday after you know this whole week. Friday is finally here, and what better way to celebrate the end of the week by doing a recap of our favorite party people, the guys from Vanderpump Rules? Because that last episode, girl, this season, this season is giving me so much life. It's insane. The fact that now we're able to take sides, now we're able to have real problems and real confrontation. Like, girl, they are finally moving from the stupid pettiness that it was not going anywhere. And we are dealing with this with like real life. I found it so refreshing. And I have to applaud Miss Lisa Vanderpump and everyone else in between that created this show this season i'm sorry because this season is really really good okay so let's talk about this mess because this last episode of vanderpump rules is giving us a lot uh let's see where should we start we start with uh it's just like i don't want to go in order because there are so many things and i'm kind of like jumping from one side to another uh, let's start with this whole situation between Sheena Shea and um, Katie Maloney and Raquel and Shores. I don't know. There is, it's just like everything is so connected. So Sheena decided to go and do the podcast, her podcast shenanigans on Tom Schwartz's house. Now you can see that Tom Schwartz is being, it's a mess. You know, her apartment, I was like, oh, Schwartzy call me, I will fix that apartment for you. You know, like you deserve, you deserve to live well, okay? So anyways, uh, they decided to do the whole thing and, and, and they decided to do the podcast. And, um, you know, some questions here, some questions there. Now, the thing is, I feel that Katie, she wants to be divorced, but she wants to keep controlling Tom Schwartz. And I'm starting to see a behavior that is very toxic and that, that I haven't seen literally since Madison LaCroix and Austin Kroll on Southern Charm. is literally giving me the same vibes, you know? Like, oh yeah, we're not together, we're friends, but you cannot do this, you cannot do that, why are you doing this, who is she, what is she, what is she doing? You know, it, it's it's a very weird, like, why, why will they be going, uh, she will be going that way. Short, I think she should be able to do whatever the fuck she wants. At the end of the day, they are divorced, right? And we're gonna be moving into this whole thing of like Sheena pushing Raquel to make out with Tom Short. I said it in another video and I will say it again. I cannot be mad at Sheena Shea for doing this because it is so obvious and at the same time so well done that it gave us a great season, you know? Yes. It has been confirmed. Katie did tell Sheena on Vegas that she will be okay if Raquel end up making up, making out, I'm sorry, with shorts, you know? I don't, I don't think she was like honestly being like, I give them my blessing. Oh my God, I will love it. No, I think it was like a vent in the moment or like one of those stupid shits that you say like what you're drinking or whatever. That comment alone was enough for Miss Sheena to just run away with it, you know. And this is, this was perfect for her, you know. And again, I cannot be, I cannot be mad because this is, this is Alisa Vanderpump in the making right there. This is a Bethany Frankel. This is a Nini Leakes, a Vicky Gumbel, some of the great producers of Bravo work like that. You take something and you make great reality TV happening. You know why? Because yes, technically Katie did gave the blessing. I technically Katie did say that she will not give a fuck if Tom Short will, you know, kiss uh, Raquel. Now, what's interesting is that this whole fight is happening at a moment that they have not been hooking up. Now imagine how bad it's going to be where they actually hook up in, in Mexico. It's going to be insane. So um, 
and <laughs> like Sheena inviting Raquel to go to Schwartz and it's only Brooks and hers and Raquel and Schwartz like Adriana Adriana trying to be I'm sorry Ariana Ariana trying to be like hey oh yeah should I go and she being like mm, this is a, this is a, like only us you know so like yeah don't come girl girl I mean, you know that you were being messy. You know that you were being messy, but like, <laughs> it's just so good. It's just so good because it's kind of like she was planting those seeds and these people just follow the trail little by little, little by little. And to be very honest, it's not like it's wrong. I'm sorry, it's just no wrong because they are no longer together. It's not like, like she told Raquel to, you know, cheat with Tom or anything like that. You know, there is no cheating. There is nothing. He is divorced. They are no longer together. And I'm so sorry, but Ka Katie is already screwing other guys, kissing guys left and right, doing whatever the fuck she wants. So why Tom cannot do the same thing? I really don't understand it. You know, is it Raquel the one for Schwartz? A hundred percent no. We all know that the only reason why Raquel is hooking up with Schwartz is because thirstiness, you know, and like the desire to keep being part of the show. That's the only reason. We all know that. This is the, this is the beauty. It's like everyone is so wrong that is right at this point. It's just like it, it, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. Short, he's still, you know, like under the Katie situation. He should have not gone running to Katie to tell her that he did a podcast with Sheena, or I mean, do, say the podcast, but not the not the rest of, of, of the shit, you know, not like keep saying everything. You know that Kate, that the Sheena is, I'm sorry, that Katie is not going to be okay with the conversation. You know, so why do that out there? But I feel like to me, short, it's kind of like Teresa Judice, you know, definitely not the brightest tool on the box, you know, but we all love him for a freaking reason. Right? I think he doesn't think about these things. I mean, he lives in a lala world, you know, where like everything should be okay. No one should care about anything. Like, what is the big deal? Which, to be honest, there is no big deal. There is no big deal because at that specific moment, there was not hooking up. There was really nothing bad. It's not like Sheena was saying like, oh, I'm so glad that you broke up with that bitch. No. I mean, if anything, Sheena just keep saying how much she wanted to be there for both of them, how much she appreciate Katie. She was like, honestly, like saying this, you know, but I'm sorry, like there is this girl who is clearly like, you can see the, the, the saliva going out of her mouth of how thirsty she is, you know, and, and, and this is the perfect moment to make great TV and you are going to season 10 of a show that is very close to be canceled and you need something good to happen because look at what happened with Shaz of Sunset. Bitch, you better believe that I'm going to be doing the same thing, you know? And it's no wrong. No one is cheating. No one is doing absolutely anything. Is it okay? Probably not either. But who cares? I cannot be mad at Sheena Shea for playing producer. And I, I love it because it is so obvious for us watching it right now. Uh, but at the moment, I feel like everyone just fall into the little traps and it was just so juicy. Or I have another theory, but mm, it's not as strong. But I feel like what if Katie set up Sheena in Vegas to see if Sheena will do that, you know, and, and, and push Raquel towards short. You know, that might be also another theory. But that one, I'm not, I, I'm not that connected. Anyways, now uh, let's move on a little bit into Lala, Katie, and Raquel. You know, they're talking and they're whole, the whole thing of like, I'm single, I'm ready to mingle, you know, the whole situation. I don't understand why, honestly, why Lala had the need to go to tell Raquel about the whole James situation when they are not even looking to reconcile or absolutely anything. And it also, it doesn't look good on Lala that she is saying that she cheated on Randall, you know? Now, I know it's not at the same level of what Randall did because Randall, I mean, that bitch is on another level, you know? But still, it's kind of like, really? 
Like you were really gonna go on national TV and say like, oh yeah, we cheated, we cheated together, you know? And like, it, it should be okay because now they're single. The fact that they're single now doesn't mean that what they did is, is it, it wasn't wrong. And why set it to Raquel's face when you know it's going to hurt her? I think she also did it just expecting some kind of reaction. The thing is like Raquel, she's not good for reality TV. She will never be good for reality TV. She doesn't give these big reactions. You know, the only that's why her only move is being thirsty and kind of like hooking up with every single guy to see who will give her a storyline for next season. But she's never going to be like, ah, oh, bitch, you know, I'm going to like drag you, you know, side to side. That's never just never going to happen. But Lala, I think that was the only reason why she did something like that, because you're clearly hurting James, who is supposed to be your friend as well. It's very weird. Now, talking about James Kennedy... Also, <laughs> I mean, I feel so bad for the new girlfriend because every single scene is about how much he still have feelings for Raquel and how much this girl is just a rebound girl, you know? From the beginning of like Lisa Vanderpump talking to Raquel and Raquel crying and then James crying because of the dog, which is very clearly that it wasn't about the dog and he gets so defensive all the time you know it's kind of like a kid like you like you cannot talk to to him because he will immediately get defensive and he thinks that only by just because he's being angry you know and and, and like saying like dumb stupid and bullshit you know and like talking all these big words out there you know then he is automatically right but it's just such a tempered tantrum all the time that it's really hiding his insecurities and how how wrong he really is you know, I, I said it from the beginning, he should have never got into a relationship, which is the same thing that I'm expecting from Tom Schwartz. You know, you just left a very important relationship. You know, James evolved so much because of Raquel. You know, he changed so much. He should not be getting into another relationship. Stop looking for validation. Stop looking for like instant love. No, I think James needs to learn to love himself. He needs to be going to therapy. He needs to be working on himself, being alone for a little while, you know. Nobody says that you cannot have fun. Go, screw all LA if you want to, right? But do not get in a relationship. The only one who's gonna end up getting hurt is that Ali girl, okay? Because, mm, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I think that's basically what is going on. Now, Tom Sandoval, oh, it's, sometimes they make it so hard to defend them because why in the hell is he spending so much money paying these random people to play wannabe pop star i mean is this the male erica jane like playing wannabe pop star you know why are you spending all of this money you know when you are opening a freaking restaurant that is literally eating all your money away why how this is not a cheap hobby he should be focusing on opening that damn restaurant once for all, you know, and then in a little bit, when you recover your money, maybe you can go and play a uh, pop star with, you know, the extras and all of that. But it just, it, it, it seems, it, it, it's, it feels wrong, you know, and James is 100% right. What, why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? I need a creative outlet, bitch. Buy a notebook and paint, you know? You don't need to be spending all of this money. I mean, I don't know about his finances either, but like, and he's probably doing super well to be spending this amount of money because I don't understand. I don't get it. I mean, he's, he is part owner of TomTom. Tom, so, oh, these guys cause me so much stress. I think because I care about them so much and I want them to be doing good that I, I, when they do these decisions, I'm like, wow, really? Why? Um, I mean, some of the people that are doing great, look, Ariana, I think she's doing a great job. 
I think she is following her call and I think she's going little by little. We know that she's going to be going through some tough things this season, but I feel that she's doing a great job, you know? Honestly, Sheena, I think she's doing a great job either. Between, I mean, until this point, if we have to thank someone for a great season of Vanderpump Rules, that's Sheena Shea, okay? Period, that. That's the way it is. So leave that alone. And we're going to have to wait and see what is going to happen with the rest of the gang. You know, like, how is this going to, like, move forward? Like, oh, my God, that first date. Mm -mm -mm. First of all, I thought that the Thai guy was gay. That was, I, I always thought that he was gay. I mean, even from last episode, when they met each other, I, I thought that he was gay. I never got, like, a straight by from this guy. And this season, and that, and that scene, I'm sorry, was so awkward. And I don't know what they were expecting, you know? Like, if you are not ready to date and you only want to ban, why are you going to a date? Well, I mean, maybe that's a straight people bullshit, you know, because we don't do that in, in my world. But, uh, well, like, I don't understand why. You know, why lose your time maybe to get a free lunch? I mean, it's it's so weird. I mean, you will go to, to this bland date who you clearly have zero chemistry for what? Very weird. Anyways, <sighs> that's all my unwanted opinions, okay? My humble opinion that no one asked for is right there. So now let me know what you guys think on the comments below about Vanderpump Rules and everything that is going down. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any other Bravo franchise or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya, bye. Hello everyone, and before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose, forever they did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year this is the perfect gift for you your mom your wife your husband whatever you want to say i'm sorry i love you i miss you say it with these beautiful flowers so if you want to get your bouquet right now go to the link on the description below and use my discount code andy25 and you will get 25 dollars off your order again this is the perfect gift for anyone so whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.